Sorry about that. I was rudely interrupted by my wife who apparently can't get the key to the door and unlock the bedroom door on her own. So anyways, so where was I? Um, yes, the complications. <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> the thought of being impotent and incontinent in 38, you know, really wasn't a, really wasn't real swell for me. Um, I mean, what guy really wants to be impotent, let alone dude who is still young enough to fuck his wife. So, um, it was a little scary at first, but you know, after talking to a couple people that have had, had the surgery and, um, um, hearing that the side effects aren't nearly as bad as was explained to me, um, I feel pretty confident that I'll be okay after the surgery. Um, and I, that, that's another thing that really, really bothered me about this whole kind of cancer process is that, you know, it, um, prostate cancer is relatively an old, older guy's kind of, kind of cancer. You know, you don't hear about too many guys in their thirties, um, getting this type of deal. Um, so the frustrating thing was finding someone my age as a reference to, um, um, kind of get an idea. How am I supposed to make an informed decision when every guy has had surgery or the radiation is in their 60s? So um, I decided to make, kind of uh, talk about these things in a video, kind of record my experience. So maybe folks that come behind me, you know, in their 30s and are younger, um, I'm even hearing the, cancer, the prostate cancer is, um, happens in guys in their 20s. So, um, I kind of wanted to, you know, give a little, uh, reference for all those guys out there who don't know exactly what to do and, um, are just as afraid as I was about all the complications. Now, granted, I haven't had the surgery yet, so I can't really speak to it yet, but, um, um, there are, uh, there's hope. So, um, you know, both my dad and my uncle, um, that uh, went through the surgery and, um, and you know, who, <laughs> what guy likes asking their dad, hey dad, you still getting up? Strong like bull? Come on. Nobody likes to hear that. Nobody wants to ask their pops that. Um, but, you know, now's not the time to be timid. You know, it's, it's crunch time. It's, you know, two minute warning. It's, we're in the red zone. It's, it's, it's time to either kick the field goal or, you know, push forward and go for the touchdown. So, um, it's no time to be timid. It's time to be strong and, and, you know, put those fears and apprehensions aside and just do what you got to do to make this work. You know, um, for me, you know, I've got a wife and I've got two, uh, little girls, both nine and four. And, um, I'm too damn young and they are too damn young to be without their dad. So it's, really important that I, uh, um, I go at this and be aggressive about it so that I can be there for them as they're getting older and, um, I can see my grandbabies. So, um, I think it's important that, uh, um, that in that aspect, um, it's time to man up and do what you got to do. Um, you know, side effects be damned. Um, I'm going to beat this. It's a, uh, um, uh, it's very beatable and I'm going to do it. I know so upwards of 30,000 guys die a year of this. And, um, uh, from my understanding, prostate, to die from prostate cancer is a horrible, horrible thing, but you know what? Damn it. I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to push through this and I want to make it happen. So, all right, this is it for now. I've yammered on enough. I will, uh, post some more stuff as I get closer to my surgery and, you know, I'll post uh, stuff on the day of the surgery and, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep plugging along. All right. See you guys later.